Welcome back. Please bring up All Not Payroll Workbook, which you should have up. Go to Activity 2 tab on the bottom. You need to be able to move the active cell around. For instance, the active cell right now to Excel is D9. If you could move it to D10, you can control how it, it works, how it processes, and how you can automate tasks. There is a way to do that with code, but a real powerful way is to do it with range names. And everybody knows how to use range names. It's used all the time. For instance, let's go up to cell A1. We're going to call that yellow. And notice the cell is yellow. And make sure you hit enter. We're going to go to cell D5 and go ahead and name that. Whoops. Go to D5 and make sure we name that orange. And so on. We'll get the blue. Make sure you hit enter. I didn't get my orange because I didn't hit enter. Make sure I hit enter and go to the red. Check them out. Click on there. It does say yellow up here in the name box. It does say orange, blue, and red. Now let's just test this. F5 is the go-to key. We'll do F5. We'll go ahead and go to yellow. F5. Let's see if it goes to red. Something else, you can also range name a whole area. Let's say we range name that Todd. You don't have to do this, but just to show you. Click someplace in the white area away from it. Hit F5. Go to Todd. Why would you ever want to have a group of cells named? Well, in business, they have a lot of lookup tables. They use VLOOKUP. They look up maybe commission rates. They look up male versus female rates, let's say for auto insurance. It's used all the time. Very, very powerful. Okay, what we want to do here is we want a macro that basically goes from color to color. To save some time, again, I'll go down to that row. Go to the Home tab. I didn't have to do the Home tab. Go to Go to Colors. And I'll do Control C just to save me the typing. I'll go to the View tab. Go to Macros and say Record Macro. I'll paste what I just, re just copied, which was just this, save me some time, and it says in the instructions to make sure it's Control shift g so I'll hold my Shift key down, and also press G. I'll put in some description, and click OK. It's recording, but it's not recording the timing of it, nor is it recording my voice. I want to go to yellow, I'll hit F5, and OK. I want to go to orange, F5, orange, OK. I want to go to red, F5, red, OK. And I want to go to blue, F5, blue, OK. I want to turn my macro off, stop recording, and I want to see how it works. Control Shift G, Control Shift G, it's not doing anything. Or is it? It's going so fast we can't see it. Let's step into it slowly. So we go View Macro. We can highlight Go to Colors and say Step Into. Let's do it like we did in HTML and have the visual part to the right and have the code to the left. I'm going to go ahead and hit F8 and see what it's doing. It says go to yellow. So after I hit F8 again, after I leave the highlighted, it should do go to yellow. After I leave this one, go to orange, it should go to orange, and so on. And then of course when it's done with blue, it's done. Hit F8 and we're done. I do want to also say something about the range names. If for instance you put too many names, you misspelled it, where you want to get rid of a range name, you can go up to Formulas, you can go to Name Manager, and like if we didn't want Todd, of course everybody would want Todd in there. We can just click Delete. It'll say, do you really, really want to? Say yes. 